Robotic Posterior Component Separation The indications for this technique include large ventral or incisional hernias. What we do in this technique is we recreate the Reeves stopa with bilateral component separation. This has traditionally been reserved for open repair. By exploiting the utility of the Da Vinci robot, our patients can now experience the well-documented benefits of minimally invasive surgery. The feasibility of this approach relies on the double docking technique. This allows for complete visualization of the hernia defect, as well as posterior sheath mobilization and posterior component separation. The following provides images of the critical steps for the posterior component separation technique. Posterior sheath mobilization, identification of the edge of rectus, incision of the linea semilunaris, and interparietal plane between the internal oblique and transversus. Similar to conventional lap hernia repair, we begin with three trocars in the lateral abdomen. Following lysis of adhesions, the hernia defect is defined. The posterior sheath is incised and dissected off the rectus muscle. The excellent optics of the Da Vinci robot combined with the uniform retraction afforded to us by pneumoperitoneum allows us to enter into an avascular plane creating minimal blood loss. This is the edge of rectus. The linea semilunaris is incised in an interparietal plane in between the internal oblique above and the transversus abdominis below is entered. Continuing along this plane allows for excellent posterior mobilization of the posterior sheath as well as freeing up of the anterior fascia above for subsequent closure of these two layers. Once adequate mobilization is achieved, the robot is then undocked, the patient is turned 180 degrees, and mirror image trocars are placed on the opposite side for contralateral dissection. Seen here is contralateral dissection subsequent to the incision of the linea semilunaris within the intraparietal plane between the internal oblique and transversus abdominis. Following bilateral posterior component separation, the anterior fascia is then run closed, followed by retro rectus placement of mesh and closure of the posterior sheath.